Courtney was the first to live in New York City, where we all live now. The first, as we mentioned, to get a master's degree, which we luckily caught up to. And she was the first of us to go to Australia, which has caught a large piece of my heart as well. And it's in Australia that Courtney and Scott's story really begins. So when they got to Australia, my dad mentioned too, that they were given the opportunity to camp in the outback together. And they looked at each other and they said, I'll do it if you do it. They'd only known each other for a few days and they decided to be brave together and to support each other through anything that came next. charity. Uh, I think it's a reflection of his family, maybe particularly his mother, uh, who's a nurse, and that that compassion is something if you're a dad, uh, you look for, because I think you tell your girls that what you really want to find in a man uh, is somebody who's going to invest in your dreams uh, the same way you invest in his. And Scott quite clearly invests in Courtney's dreams, and that means a lot to me. Thank you, each and every one of you, for making your trip out here. It means the world to us, honestly. Um, Mom and Dad, thank you. Kathy and Charlie, thank you. From the bottom of both of our hearts, Kathy, I know you've been working really, really hard this past week, and before that, even. It hasn't gone unnoticed, and it, it means the world to us. together because traveling I think is a microcosm of life because so you do everything you it's like you know what's your piece of life and what do you like to eat and are you spontaneous or are you planned and so I think the fact that they met traveling is kind of perfect I, Courtney and Councilman Kelly. Take you, Scott Thomas Stiles. Take you, Scott Thomas Stiles. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death do us part. Until death do us part.
Several years later in New York, that group of students from around the United States who had been in Australia at the same time uh, get together again. Uh, and uh, I want to say here, thank God, uh, one or more of those friends said, why don't you two guys date? You should really date. You'd make a great couple. Uh, and uh, what Courtney said next uh, took my breath away uh, and still does. Uh, she said she was anxious uh, at that suggestion, uh, that Scott was a dear friend of hers, and she would never, ever want to lose him as a friend, uh, and that she would not want to do anything that would strain that special friendship in any way. I knew something very important at that point. Courtney was truly in love. So she persisted and said to Scott, uh, what if it doesn't work? And Scott, as if he knew that a special journey was about to begin, said, it will.